Hey guys, this is Tepco Sac Repair. Today I'm going to be talking about one of the most overlooked fluids when it comes to maintenance on your bikes. This is a really important fluid that you need to check. I'm going to show you an easy way to check it and how we can keep on top of it, okay? Let's get started. It's your brake fluid. So one of the things I see with a lot of bikes that come in here, a lot of cruiser bikes, they'll come in here saying that brakes feel like crap, they're spongy, they don't feel right. So what you want to do is you want to check the fluid. Now, I'm not one to go just dumping money into bikes when it's not needed, like changing oil every single dirt bike ride or, or things like that, you know. So when it comes to this, you want to be able to check everything and make sure, uh, you know, fluids are bad before you waste money on spending, uh, waste money on them, replacing them. So um, the thing about brake fluid, and we're talking dot three and dot four brake, brake fluid here, is that it attracts water. All right, I'm going to show you some what this fluid looks like. I'm going to show you how to test it. All right, so here's our fluid inside of here. If you look at it, you know, it's kind of standard colored. Now, these uh, forks are the ones that are going on my cafe build. They've been sitting out in a salvage yard for, for a while before I got them. So, you know, I figured the fluid is going to be pretty crappy. But let's see how bad it is. This is what I'm going to be using is brake fluid tester. You can get these... Uh, on um, eBay or um, Amazon. I'll put a link in the description for it. It's a real simple tool. It has two prongs in here. It's going to uh, test the amount of fluid or water that's inside there. It has a couple settings on here that the light's going to light up. If I turn it on, bottom light's on. This takes a AAA battery. Then you'll have, um, you know, one to two percent of water in this in your uh, fluid. It's not that bad. When you get into three and four, you're going to want to replace it. So I'll show you what this one looks like. All right, first off, we're going to be doing, uh, this is some Galfer fluid here. This is new stuff, so I'm going to show you what this looks like. Put this in here. Okay, nothing. All right, now we're going to stick it in over here. This fluid here that's been sitting, let me turn it on. Boom, you can see right there, we're greater than 4%, so this needs to be flushed out. To it. This is a real simple, easy way to diagnose your uh, fluid. You don't want to go bleeding your brakes out just to bleed them with fluid in there that's got water in it. Um, if you have water in your system, it's going to corrode the internal parts of your brake system. It's going to cause other problems down the line. Uh, fluid, you know, your brakes could lock up because the, uh, the uh, pressure release inside the uh, master cylinder in the front gets clogged. If that gets clogged, and I've seen that a lot of times where you have... Um, corrosion in there from water and it blocks the fluid from coming back when it starts to expand when it gets hot and it'll start to apply your brakes so you want to make sure that you keep this clean keep your fluids fresh all everything and when you're doing all the rest of the fluids on your bike don't forget the brake fluid it's real simple it only takes you a minute or so to flush it out so make sure you get it done so that's it guys for now so like i said don't overlook your brake fluid it's easy to do hopefully you like this video and helps you out hit the like button subscribe and hit the bell for further notifications guys until next time this is tepco sock repair